What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to run off where we left off, we are laying siege to the Italian rebels outside Milan. So considering our strategic position, I'm going to want to lose as few troops as possible in this sally. So I'm going to probably lose as few a men as Harry. Because even though the Ottomans seemingly have been pinned back by Venice, really so it's probably a good idea if I follow previous advice and recruit more of a garrison for my capital but anyway let's deploy backwards in this bowl like so put some infantry up here just to make sure we control a bit of the rise pikes behind Cavalry hang back and so will the general. The round shot is the most quiet you. What a weird position for reinforcements to come in. They're all the way back there, so they would have come on here, but terrain means it looks like they're gonna march all the way around here. But anyway, definitely good triple speed because it looks like. They are right at the back. And our artillery is pounding their general. But yes, the main idea is that because uh, my position is sufficiently delicate, I don't actually want to be... I don't want to lose... Oh, I need to lose as few men as possible because my economy is not really, str not really um, wired to deal with replenishing huge armies at every turn. So instead, I'm going to have to pretty much play very cagey for a while. I mean, I don't... It seems like they're more than happy to play cagey. But their mortar crew is going to about, is about to get a very, very, very warm welcome. And the 10th Regiment of Foot is marching in. Might have to send some cavalry forward to provoke them into attacking. Yep, the mortar crew have been shot. <gasps> Pardon me. Holy hell. It's a nice burp. It looks like that spurred them into action. Who knew? All it took was the loss of their artillery to make them... to make the enemy um, take positions and actually start to try and engage us. Drop into square. Get these guys back out of square. Okay. Let's put my provincial infantry on the inside. My regular infantry further out. Can you guys traverse this terrain op quickly and openly? Got a good, they got a good charge off because I was trying to see if I could charge up this hill. We've gone to square relatively quickly. So they're probably going to do... Oh, cavalry of charging again, but they've been seen off. As has this cavalry. Yeah, you guys get up there. Actually, both of you may as well get up there. Let's get back triple speeding it. Let's make sure these guys pound the line of infantry. You guys pound the militia that's coming right at us. Oh, 
And what I might end up doing is actually curving this wing around. It looks like the, focus, the, the main focus of their effort is going to be up the hill. Let's just pull these guys back to make sure they get more firepower together as a coherent group. Don't want to charge, don't want to send people in to attack their infantry just yet. There are garrison line infantry units, you pound the hell out of them. You, the canister shot, just blast it into these militia. A lot of fire we're putting on them. Send you to try and intercept their cavalry. These guys can try and intercept your infantry in the center. Try and my pikes up. These guys can make that militia unit, that garrison line infantry unit route, that'd be perfect, because then I'll take these guys, pivot them around a bit more. Awesome. Just pretty much deploy, redeploy my whole line. In this direction. You keep killing them. Good. Charge into the group, send my pikes in. Hold the artillery fire. Absolutely continue. So turn fire off, fire it well off for most of them. You've got a chance to kill off that line infantry, so keep at it. down. So those guys are going to chop them up quite nicely. And most of these are going to route, which is a shame, but they are actually mostly militia, militia. Garrison line would be nice to kill. Primarily garrison line because militia, the morale values on militia are really bad. So at least with this, by killing the garrison line, I kind of maximise my value. Although it looks like they're all going to rout. So let's send my remaining cavalry to go chase down this last infantry unit. So it looks like they've managed to do some sneaky bits and pieces by running around the buildings, but soon just sheer numbers of cavalry will be able to pathfind their way around adequately and hopefully kill them all. Damn right it was a heroic victory, stupid rebels. Why don't you, why don't you just... What's well, this, stupid rebels? They threw off the tyranny of the Ottoman Empire. And look, we lost 80 men and we decimated their forces. And that's perfect. Division of labour. Awesome. So let's keep going down the Titanianism route. Got a good amount of cash. So let's boost 
our garrison. Or do we start to re really? Do we boost our garrison or do we almost start to build a second army? That's where we're starting to go. But any second army needs a strong infantry core. So four line infantry units and two grenadiers should be pretty good. This line infantry will be enough to support them. I mean, we we've all seen how I need to fight this because we've all seen my auto resolves do give um, take give me give me lots of casualties so i'll probably want to attack it Stupid. manually recording glitch so i'll probably want to attack it manually is actually when i auto resolve against small stacks i actually take loads of damage much more than is needed especially against such weak forces so i'm probably gonna actually because i need to win this quite cleanly I'll fight it. I mean, the very basic formation. Just a great big... Just a great big line infantry unit. So we are getting supported by more cavalry, which is lovely. So just pound the hell out of their advancing infantry. My cavalry is going to intercept their cavalry. Bang. Fall back. Because they're firing wildly into our positions. And let's speed up time once more to get our line infantry in position where fire by rank will reign supreme. We'll take a handful of casualties. But as soon as we start firing by rank, we're gonna do, we're gonna do work. Like that. Get all my artillery to focus on this unit of militia to the rear. Let's just fast forward this because this is just militia getting pounded by by infantry and they can't handle it. So send our cavalry along, send our infantry up. Sorry, when it sounds like there's a a uh, street sweeper that's going along the street behind me. Can't do anything about that. So they're going to be in... Their cavalry is going to be in musket range. Run the last few steps so they can all just engage. There we go. Successful capture of Lombardy. Hopefully few few losses 30 men so for the sake of 110 men we actually took the entire city awesome too bad we can't repair repair the um government building but i'll take your hundred dollars worth of tax money awesome so now i've got to worry about this guy at turin Let's check and see if we can trade with anyone new. Persia, you like to trade. Yes, you do. Awesome. Ah, yes, and the French Navy is out there. So, don't really want to fight it, because I, I suck it. Ooh, just one sec, guys. Apologies, apologies for the last three minutes, some shenanigans have happened and during the recording cut my audio settings actually changed and my levels and my voice levels I can see on the right just went crazy. So I'll try and, um, in post I'll try to fix it, but I don't really want to fight this naval battle so I'm just going to water it. Ooh, that was a heavy loss. 
Well, it was a, a win, quote unquote. But yeah, main reason I didn't want to fight it was because I am not that good at naval battles and I didn't really want to risk it. So we're going to get 5,000 next turn, which is nice. Research and tech is going on well. Taking Milan. Awesome, let's hit enter. So, our strategy seems to be going okay. We've taken back the core of the Italian territories. France is being a swine, but we really, we really need to get some wins and get some more cities because uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> okay 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 so my army in Milan needs to immediately head east well actually hmm it depends if they got follow up forces because they've immediately left Venice there will be a rebellion in a handful of turns so they may get called back to the city in order to put down that rebellion but it's hmm. if it was just the one stack it would be tempting to leave them because they would have to go back to the city regardless let's get a small amount of replenishment Ow. i see i don't have a see they they are depleted but i don't know how much by Okay, yeah. You guys form up. Form up an army. That's what they need to do. Ooh, Britain. Let's trade. Awesome. I'm still at war with Spain, Spain. Peace. I'm not going to give you Naples. France doesn't want peace. So who's France at war with? They were at the war of the United Provinces, so they've got someone to focus on, and they're also in brawling war in the 13 colonies against um, the Iroquois Confederacy. But we're actually okay. So this army, probably... If I sit on the bridge, if they come west, I can ensnare them into a bridge battle, which would be perfect. This is a concern, because obviously any any build-up of Ottoman troops anywhere needs to be dealt with. But I'm, I'm happier that this is happening now. But do I want that much artillery just yet? Well, I don't have any artillery, so if, if this does become a proper army, then yes, I will need that artillery. I may also shift your research on to socket bayonet because if I'm going to have to now go to war with the Ottoman Empire then it might be what I need to do. Okie doke. When this, to be honest, if this became a proper force it would be tempting to drop them off at the bridge. I mean I could move east but then to try catch them on this ford but I've still got them penned in quite well here. If they go south for Rome, my garrison will be able to defend itself. And I'll be able to if I need to. Well, if they go south, I'll probably go west to take out Turin. Um, just to get rid of this threat behind my lines. And then I'll try and head east again quickly. But this is... We need to be careful of how many forces they bring up in any follow-up action because if we know the ottomans well they didn't fall for it they've got an army to the south i think i might engage them and push them back because it looks like it's just that one stack and if we're lucky they'll be depleted by a reasonable amount if we're lucky and then we can push them back to venice without losing not losing too many men then that secondary force I've built, they can actually go and deal with Turin themselves. Or they can act as a reserve for um, our force to the west. So when this turns over, I'm going to quickly hop off my recording just to check my audio for this part. Just to make sure all the settings have gone okay. So be right back, guys. 
Okie dokie. I cranked it up just a little bit. So enemy raided Bologna, so that's okay. They've raided our college. It's not the end of the world. My army is depleted compared to theirs, but we will probably call on... this cavalry for support. But... If they raid, will I be able to force them in a bridge battle? It's tempting, but I don't know if I could take the risks. I can't sit and wait for these guys to take to make up their mind on what they're going to do. So I think I've got to... I'm going to rebuild the barracks. I'm going to trickle in a couple more units of infantry. Bring in this cavalry. Try go a bit to the west, then hit them. Lots of their cavalry is depleted. Some other infantry is depleted, but they're just, I must say, just janissaries. My infantry is better. We've got lots of cavalry, which we can snoop, which we can move around to take out their artillery. I've been pretty good. Let's take them out. Units of infantry I've just recruited in Turin. I'm probably going to cancel that so I can spend the money replenishing this army. Then we will drive on a ideal plan. So let's form our battle line. Let's spread the guns out so that we can we maximize the benefit of our grape shot. Spread our line out just a little bit more. I know we have gone on the offensive, but I suspect they will probably come towards us. Okay, let's group an experienced and a rookie cavalry unit together on each flank. Cavalry can just sit in the centre, ready to move where it needs to be. move our cavalry out because the cavalry is weak on the left all of my artillery hopefully will be aiming at this these howitzer units which are currently in transit I mean they are falling back so I'm actually going to I'm actually pretty happy with that because it means their artillery will be out of commission for a few turns or for a few volleys so speed up time see if we can knock any of their guns out. Yes, we can knock their guns out. Perfect. Okay, let's retarget. You can shoot at that Janissary unit. You can shoot at that Janissary unit. Okay, let's move our pikes onto this flank. They fancied it. So they've got, they've got lots of numbers, but we've got actual... Killing Cav, I suppose. Just let our artillery still do some work. Looks so like the main cavalry is pulled off. This unit might walk into range of my infantry, but these guys are going to charge. It looks like they very much are going to focus on my left flank. So let's start to push our units up. Let's change our cavalry targets. Is that the general? No, that's just a unit of Azars. So allegedly they're winning slightly. There's a Madari horseman. If they want to charge, they will have a very rude awakening from our pointy guys guys with pointy sticks go on, make them rout and then flee because the are going to cause problems set my pikes to charge the horsemen get my cavalry to retreat Okay, so my idea they were going to force this flank has, seems to have backfired. Let's 
couple of troops back. Let's get these guys to start. Uh, they're not close enough for cast shot, but they will be soon because they're running into position. Same with these guys. This horseman unit has had better days and it's almost been annihilated if we kill this last guy. Good. Okay, they're sending lots of troops to take out my to take out my um, cavalry on this flank. So please, Bashi Bazooks, please break. Guys, keep on the move. Fortunately, they are all doing quite poorly on the uh, battle map. Retarget the cast shot. Go after these janissaries just to make sure they route. Slice them down. Charge in, charge in. You guys have got completely the wrong idea. Yeah, you guys charge into them. The other flank, you have to charge into them, sadly. They're shattered, so let's go take out the Bashi Bazooks. Actually, no, go hit that unit. It's a unit of Janissaries that's. It's only lost 100 men, so they could come back. This cavalry unit's probably not going to last too long. Bashi Bazooks have returned from combat, which is a shame. Okay, let's get my pikes to take out one of their infantry units. Keep going down, my good ideas. Okay, no, they're wavering. Keep attacking. Too bad they recovered. So my pikes are going to go see off. So you go charge into that unit of grenadiers. Good. Everyone's currently. Picking on, picking on a destroyed unit. Our pikes are doing a fantastic job. Come on, mon général. Send them on towards this combat. We'll send my pikes just to charge onwards. They seem to be doing a tremendous job. So get my cavalry out of there. There's the Mandari horsemen. Get this artillery to start round shotting. All about keeping my cavalry committed. There we go. Bashi bazooks are looking very peaky. Let's bring this cavalry in. Let's charge the Feli Musketeers. Let's charge my infantry to take out the Bashi bazooks. Charge my pikes on to attack. This remaining unit of Janissaries. Everyone else just charge the Bashi Bazooks. You, ch oh, you don't charge the Bashi Bazooks. You run around them. Unfortunately, they are Bashi Bazooks. 
They want fire artillery into them though. Pikes charge in. Have you finished your option, your attack order? You have, so you come in and take out these guys. Pikes are doing a tremendous job. Let's bring my general in. Pikes just absolutely melting through them. You hit that unit of Janissaries just to make sure they go. Absolutely, I want to continue. I've got the Ottomans on the run. I feel madman to not want to continue it. Let's halt the artillery fire. So let's maybe not go triple speed. I want to make sure I do kill as many of them as possible. They'll probably route. But damn, that's a lot of men. It's a lot of men to have just killed. That's a good, very, very good win against the Ottomans here. Goes to show they might have lots of bodies when you let my tactics get involved. Right. Turn the battlefield into a bit of a meat grinder. And damn right, it was a decisive victory. We need to stop those troops from recruiting. We lost 400 men, they lost 2,200. And you need to push up to here. Let's cancel this recruitment. Signore. Spend the money replenishing here. This force, you stay where you are for now. Maybe go up to here. Try as a blocker. But I want. Actually, I could just cancel the crew with the 12 pounders here and instead build them up here. Maybe actually move them a bit further up as more of a blocker. But damn! That's gone really well. Let's hit and turn and see how badly things can go. Because things went well. <laughs> ah. Awesome stuff. But the main... A big problem we're going to come up against soon is the fact that we've only got one school. So we're starting to get left behind in terms of tech. Oh, yep. The Ottomans are bringing more men into the fight. But as long as we keep our armies supplied, we will be able to hold them off. Because they can only do that for so long. And if we can take Venice, that's a very wealthy region. And if... Well, I was about to say, if I could save up for a couple of turns and build walls, then I might be able to do even better. But... Um, it's unlikely that we'll be able to have, we have so much money on the hip we can afford to waste a few turns to build $12,000 or 12,000 gold worth of walls. But this has gone really rather well. Well, so far anyway. Well, I say so far. It's been a bit dodgy at various points. We've just got a central palace built... Signore. You guys replenish a little bit more. Pronti agli ordini. So they have moved up more troops, so I might actually drop off. Pronti. Maybe 
be two grenadiers and two line infantry to this army. To give him some backup. You guys move up to Genoa. And probably build up. Build up a bit of infantry. Let's build up. Actually, can we build up? I really, can't really build up anything. Let's rebuild this iron workshop. Let's get make Milan start earning us some more cash. We can tax Genoa, which is very handy. So that's 4,400. There's no one else we can really trade with at the moment. Um, so I suppose the option is, do I, do I siege Venice just to give them something to be afraid of? We've got 24 pounder howitzers. Yeesh. I am so far behind. So it might be handy to take Venice and try and build Verona into a school. Knock this down into a happiness building. I, mean, I think I siege them. I think I siege them just to start the ticking clock. I can always pull back. Because my my hope my preference would be they don't attack me this turn to let me reform. Like too much, I just, so I just I, my preference would be if I just wait and eventually just siege them out. That would be my perfect course of events. Question is though, will they play ball? The Genoese have rebelled. Um. So you've attacked. Well, we're gonna. Well, we have to fight. Well, I have to manually fight it or auto resolve it. So I'm going to manually fight it. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that'll be the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.